Okay, fifth grade, lesson 86. This is on multiplying fractions and whole numbers, okay? So stay with me for a minute. There's a cool little thing that you can, that is good to know in math. Okay. Okay? If I said, what is, what is half of the number six? Three. Okay. You know that just easily. But guess what? If it was said something else that you don't automatically know, you have to learn how to do it mathematically. Like division. Well, you're fixing to find out. Yes, that's right. But watch just for a minute, okay? So if I say what, that's the answer I'm wanting, right? So I'm going to put a question mark right there. What is in math means equals. Okay. What is half okay. of in math is times. So of is times, is is equals. Okay, what is half of six? Whoa. This became our problem. Half of six is what? Now, there's an important thing to understand. When you have a fraction and a whole number, we have to make this into a fraction. Okay? So stay with me. It'd be six times what? half equals what? Right. Six times half equals what? Right. You're right. Okay. But because this is a fraction, I'm going to need to make this into a fraction. Did you know there's an easy way to make a whole number into a fraction? Oh. Not the way you're thinking when you, you do. Five <coughs> and two. Right. Two over two. Right. We're actually going to do it a little bit different. Okay. Okay. Whenever you see the whole number six, you're just going to make it six over one. That doesn't make any sense. Okay? That's, I just want you to remember that. Oh. Because that's one whole. Yeah. Got it? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. So just remember that. If it was five, it would be five over one. Three. Three over one. Then this is right. It wouldn't be six and six. So I'm going to change this. Yeah. It would just be six over yeah, one. that's what I thought. Okay. okay? Now let's multiply. One times six is six is six two times one is um two two okay now i know the equal side is usually over here it's okay it doesn't matter yeah i can still do this times this equals this and go left or right it doesn't matter okay so the answer is six over two okay. which means six divided by two yeah six divided by two and the answer would be what? Three. Three. Now, you already knew that half of six was three, but this is the mathematical way. But if it was something more complicated, right. that's how I'd do Okay. It. So our final answer would be three. Okay? Now let's try another one. What number? What number is one third of two? Number okay, one so stay third. with me. What number, you want to put a question mark or an N or a, you want to put a letter, a fake letter? Yeah, sure. Um, Let's do an N for a number. Okay. What number is okay. one third? What's and we up? put a question mark before it. Yeah. What number? Okay. Okay. What number is one third, what's the of? Equals. Is is equals. Oh, that's times. Oh, this times. Two. Two. Okay. But this is a fraction. This is a whole number. How do I make, when I'm working with multiplication, how do I make a whole number into a fraction? When It'd I'm working with multiplication. Two at first. Two over one. Very good. Now let's just work the problem. One times two is? Uh, two. I'm just going to move it over here. Okay, two. <coughs> And three times one is three. The answer is two thirds. two thirds. Okay. Now, if it said six thirds, then I could divide six divided by three. <coughs> but do you see how this is a smaller number on top and a bigger number on the bottom? It won't divide in two. Yeah. Okay. So the answer is two thirds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try another one. 
what number, I'm just going to put what number, okay. is two-thirds of four? And it'd be four over one. Four over one. And the answer would be... Two times four is? Is eight. Three times one is? Three. Okay, bigger numbers on top. So we have to divide it. Right. So this says eight divided by three. And the answer will be four. Close. No, sorry. Um, how will we do that? Three times two equals six. six. Three times three, three is nine. Three times two then. Two. Three times two is six. Bring down two. That's all I've got. So I have to put remainder two or the new way we've learned. We bring the two up and slide the three over. Yeah. Final answer is two and two. And two, two. Thirds. Feel like you got it? Yeah. Okay. That is lesson eighty-six.